They should be struggling to breathe, gasping for air, but they're not. Growing numbers of coronavirus patients with silent hypoxia are alarming medical workers. They're not complaining of shortness of breath and they look comfortable. But when their oxygen level is checked as part of the vital signs in the emergency room, doctors have been reporting much lower levels than they would expect. Normal oxygen saturation is 95 to 97 percent, but doctors are seeing some COVID-19 patients with levels around 75 percent and lower, setting them up for more difficult recoveries or worse. It can affect the brain, it can affect the heart, the kidneys, the liver. Hospitals and emergency rooms are increasingly sending mild or moderate patients home with pulse oximeters. University Hospitals Cleveland is using this medical grade disposable device that allows for remote monitoring. We've seen in about 10% of patients, if their oxygen goes low, we call them and say, hey, go to the hospital, you need some interventions. Pulse oximeters are available at drugstores and online, but health experts caution against rushing out to buy one. Not all are created equal. The information that we've seen thus far, thus far is many of the ones you can purchase online uh, have highly varying degrees of accuracy. The devices also aren't recommended as an initial screening tool for coronavirus. Instead, health experts say watch for more common symptoms like fever, cough, and body ache. Sarah Dolliff, NBC News.